They're poor, armed, and ruthless, and they take what they can get. To date, Somali pirates have seized nearly 20 vessels and some 250 people. And on the 21st of August this year, seafaring bandits took hold of a German freighter, the BBC Trinidad. We tried to this amazing maneuver and, uh, to make waves so that maybe this vessel, the small boats will be, let's say, uh, but uh, one boat I saw and uh, other boat, uh, from this other boat, the boat that came on the bridge with the guns and mm. they stopped us. There's little of the pirate romance of yore with these modern-day buccaneers. Many Somali pirates maraud the seas high on drugs, their actions difficult to predict. At risk is one of the world's most vital trade routes. Some 20,000 ships pass through the waters off the Somali coast each year, carrying billions of euros in merchandise. Among the recent haul of pirate booty was the Saudi supertanker, the Sirius Star. Now Europe is taking action. At the moment, we're preparing a European mission with about 10 vessels. We'll be working together with various nations, and it's proper that we should coordinate the whole endeavor. But what is important is that we actively tackle piracy. The Bundeswehr already has one frigate in the Gulf of Aden, and will possibly send another one. There's talk of deploying some 1,400 Marines. But what help is military muscle when it's powerless to do anything? As in the case of the BBC Trinidad. They explain they are about 27 miles from our vessel and they can reach our position within uh, 40 minutes. They came, but yeah, we already have been... Uh, the pirates already boarded our vessel. It means they followed us a few miles from our vessel, a few minutes, and after that they left. The Bundeswehr can intervene only when a pirate attack is actually underway. The German constitution does not allow the military to perform police tasks, says the defense minister. But the French armed forces are allowed to take on a policing role and arrest pirates. And some German politicians say the country's military can play a similar role. The Bundeswehr is already engaged in foreign missions with a policing element. In Kosovo, for instance, our soldiers were given additional equipment like batons, shields and pepper spray to allow them to undertake police duties. And it's the same scenario in Afghanistan. So it's already been established that our soldiers do take on a policing role in foreign missions. But the German government has refrained from taking the battle against piracy into Somali proper. The country has massive problems. Poverty is widespread, and after 17 years of civil war, the state simply does not function anymore. Nobody's interested in the rule of law. It's a deadly combination, and analysts say it lies at the core of the piracy epidemic. It's up to the international community to come up with a solution to the problems in Somalia. That means world powers coming together in a bid to create a stable political authority in the country and also increasing the capacity to bring people to justice. But Berlin knows it cannot fight poverty on land with its navy. And sending a ground force into Somalia would be equally fruitless. The U.S. intervention in 1994 ended in an embarrassing debacle. Berlin does not want to see a repeat of that. But the German government does plan to raise the issue of Somali suffering within an EU framework. I believe that the question of development in Somalia is what belongs on the table for discussion. How can the situation there be changed through financial and political influence? That means with no German soldiers on the ground. Without soldiers on the ground. But more warships and more freedom of action may help deter more acts of piracy but it won't do anything to tackle its underlying causes.